Hi there, I'm Emily Prokop from ePodcast Productions with a quick run through of how to put together your podcast in Audacity. This is a very basic training and something I go much more in depth with in my DIY podcaster training. But if you're just getting started learning podcasting, this is a great introduction for podcast editing basics. We're going to start by recording quickly, but if you already know how to do that, you can skip to this timestamp in the video and we'll get right into editing. Okay, you still with me? First, I'm going to record something to use on our podcast. I'm going to make sure first that the right microphone is selected. Right now, it has my computer microphone selected, which I don't want. I want my Audio-Technica ATR2100. So that is right here. I'm also going to click up here to make sure that my recording volume is where I want it. I like to keep my recording volume between negative 24 decibels and negative 6 decibels. I don't really like to record higher because you have a chance of peaking, which sounds really terrible. But when you record a little lower, you can always bring up the volume later. So now I'm going to press the red circle to record. Hi, this is Emily Prokop with ePodcastProductions.com, and um, I'm recording my podcast. I'm going to use this button to stop. So at this point, I want to save as soon as I'm done recording. So I'm going to go to File and Save Project. I can also press Control-S or Command-S. So now that we've recorded our podcast, it's time to edit. But first, let's take a look at some of the tools and cursors we'll be using. The first one is the selection tool. This can put your cursor where you want it to go when you want to press this button and play back. I'm recording my podcast. It can also highlight something that you want to take out. And I'm going to press the delete key to do that. And I'm going to use this button to undo that because maybe I want to copy that and use this button to copy. Put the cursor here, press this button to paste. And here it is in the beginning of the podcast now. I'm recording my podcast. I sure am. Let's undo that with control Z. You can use that in addition to this button up here. And another cursor you'll be using is the time shift tool. So that can be used for a whole track or a selection of a track to move it wherever you need it to go. And we're going to use that a little bit more when we add music in a bit. So let's move this back. There's also a zoom tool for you to zoom in closely on a word you might be working on to edit or to make sound better. And there are also Zoom keys up here for you to get to know, including this one, which is Fit Project in Window, which I recommend at the end of editing so that you can see your entire podcast all in one window to make sure that everything looks like it should. You saw me use these earlier. This is the undo key, and there's also the redo key. So if I decide to take something out, oh, and I didn't mean to, I can undo it, but oh, maybe I do want to take it out. I can redo that undo. <laughs> I'm going to undo that again because I know there is something that I want to take out and I want to show you one more button. So I've zoomed back out so you could see what I'm going to take out. Hi, this is Emily Prokop with ePodcastProductions.com and um, I'm going to take that um out. So I'm going to select it. And I can either press my delete key and that will move everything else back so there is more of a natural space. That's the delete key. Let me undo that. Or I can go to this button here, which is mute audio selection or silence audio selection as it says, but I call it mute. So I'm going to mute that and I'm recording my podcast. So that um is gone and there's quite a bit of a pause there. So I'm actually going to undo that. And I'm going to delete it with the delete key. So I've zoomed out so you can see the rest of the project. And let's listen to that edit I made and see if there's anything else I want to take out. So I'm going to press play or I can use my space key. Dot com and I'm recording my podcast. I'm going to use this button to stop. So I want to take out that last bit. I'm going to highlight it with my selection tool. And I'm going to press delete. And that's it for content editing. 
Now, there are a few other things with editing your podcast that you might want to do, like noise reduction for background noise. If you don't have a noise-treated area, you might want to take out mouth clicks, and you may want to raise the volume to where other podcasts are. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to get straight into adding the music. So I'm going to add a piece of music that I want for the intro and the outro. Now, this is a piece of music from the website musicformakers.com, and I use it a lot in my podcast, The Story Behind. So it might sound familiar if you know my podcast. Now, this track has already been compressed, which is something that podcast editors do with music to make sure that there aren't very loud sounds or very quiet sounds, and so that when people are talking over it, like in an intro or when there's a music bed, The music isn't going to be too distracting. So this is actually very compressed. You can see it's all about the same volume. And it's also a little lower because I use this a lot as a music bed. A music bed is music that plays underneath while somebody is talking. But for this, I'm actually going to raise the volume using this gain button here. And I'm going to go to this time shift tool and move my podcast over to about where I want it to start. Now, I really don't need all of this, so I'm going to take it out. And I'm actually going to put a split in so that I can have some intro music coming in and fading as I'm talking. And then for my outro music that I'm going to use this for, I'm going to fade it in as I'm finishing talking and then fade it out at the end of the podcast. So I'm going to show you how to make that split that I'm going to use. So I have my selection tool in the middle of that music track. And I'm going to go up to Edit, Clip Boundaries, Split. And then I can use that Time Shift tool to move the tracks where I want them to go. I can delete some of this. And let's make it a little shorter of a podcast. One thing you don't want to do is waste a listener's time any more than you need to. So since I'm not saying a lot in this podcast, I don't want to give a lot of music around saying not a lot. Let's hear how that sounds from the beginning. Hi, this is Emily Prokop with ePodcastProductions.com, and I'm recording my podcast. Not great. (laughs) You could tell that there was a definite stop in that music. So that's what I was talking about fading. Now I could use this cursor up here. This is called the envelope tool. And you can see as I click that, it makes these tracks look a little different. And I can actually put dots in here that I can move to fade the music as I want. So I could have it get a little louder when I'm done talking and I want the music to come up a bit and then a little quieter as I'm starting to go into my outro. So let's hear how that sounds. Hi, this is Emily Prokop with ePodcastProductions.com and I'm recording my podcast. It's not great, so I don't think I'm going to be using that envelope tool. So let me undo all of that. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to shorten this a little bit. Move it to that end sentence. I'm going to zoom in a bit using this zoom button. Go back to that selection tool. And now that I have this highlighted, I want to fade it in. So I'm going to go up to Effect, Fade In. And this music naturally fades out, but if I wanted to make that music fade out even faster, I would highlight what I wanted to fade out, go to Effect, and Fade Out. I'm going to undo that, though. Let's hear how that sounds. It might be too big of a transition. Productions.com, and I'm recording my podcast. Well, it's a very short podcast, so (laughs) let's not expect too much from it. All right, I'm going to actually fade out this intro right here. So I'm going to highlight where I want it to fade out. Go to Effect, Fade Out. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's go back to the beginning. Hi, this is 
Emily Prokop with ePodcastProductions.com, and I'm recording my podcast. You know what? I'm going to move this out just a little bit, and I'm recording my podcast. Maybe a little bit more so that there's definite ending. This is not the greatest sounding podcast. I'm recording my podcast. And that's it. Now, this is a very simplified version of how podcasters put their show together. But if you'd like to learn more, or if you're a little bit beyond this, check out my podcast editing workshop, February 3rd at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. This is a 90-minute live training for you and five other podcasters in a small group training session. We'll be going over how to get the best sound for your podcast, which makes editing so much easier, tips for faster editing and audacity, using more effects to really mix and master the music and sound effects for your podcast, editing tricks I've used for editing my podcast and my client's podcast, plus we'll have a Q&A at the end with any questions you may have. You'll also receive a replay and the resources I use after the training session. So if you can't make it that day, you'll have the replay for whenever you want to watch it. There will be a link in the information that goes with this video where you can learn more and sign up. Now that you're done with your podcast, don't forget to save it and export it as an MP3. File, save, and then file, export, and export as MP3. And that's your finished podcast ready to upload to your podcast host. I hope this podcast editing basics walkthrough has helped you get started on editing your own podcast. And I hope to see you soon in one of my podcast editing workshops or in DIY podcaster training, which takes you from idea to launch in eight weeks. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Emily Peck Prokop for daily podcasting tips and water reminders, because here's another editing tip. If you remember to take breaks and drink your water while you're recording, you'll find you won't be editing out as many mouth clicks, which is one reason I like giving those reminders to podcasters. Head on over to Instagram and let me know what you think of this video and if I should make more. Thanks. Bye.